Right now, though, what we're going to do is we're going to kick off season two of 10 minute tips. So for those of you who don't know, 10 minute tips is just uh, 10 quick minutes to be able to introduce you to some concepts within the trading space. Uh, season one, we focus on Forex and a lot of the things that go on within that space, how to trade, what to trade, uh, different types of trading, etc. But this, this season, we wanted to focus in on the power of cryptocurrency, the power of cryptocurrency. Everybody right now is talking about it. We know Bitcoin has exploded. Bitcoin pulled back. There's been all kinds of stories in the news. Should I be involved? Should I not be involved? And so I felt like this was the perfect time for us to take 10 minutes for a couple episodes and be able to address some of the topics in cryptocurrency. So the first thing I want to do, guys, is jump in with you guys and talk to you a little bit about today's topic of whether or not we should trade or whether we should buy crypto. OK, what do I mean by that? Well, there's some people who believe that we should get into the crypto space. You should buy some cryptocurrency and hold on to it just like you would sort of like a stock buy low and sell high. And there's other people who uh, believe that you should trade the cryptocurrency like uh, like a, in the Forex market where you can trade and you can make profit off the crypto as it goes up or as it goes down. OK. And so what I wanted to talk to you guys about is sort of the pros and cons and whether or not you should do both or what you should do and what it looks like. OK, so let's start with the idea of should I trade crypto? OK, should I trade crypto? And my answer is unequivocally, yes. Yes, you should trade crypto. If you are one of those people who you're worried about whether or not the market does go up or the market goes down and you don't know what you should do, should you hold it? What was if I bought at 40 and Bitcoin pulls back? What is it? Then what you want to do is you want to be able to learn the skill set of how to trade crypto. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm actually going to jump over here uh, to my phone and I'm going to actually show you something that you can do in order to trade crypto. So the first thing you're going to need to do and most of the steps with cryptocurrency is you're going to need a crypto wallet, which is a crypto wallet will allow you to be able to deposit some cash as Bitcoin or Ethereum or whatever it is that you want to use as whatever token that you can purchase, but mainly Bitcoin. So you can get crypto wallet at like Coinbase or there's a, lot, a variety of different places, but Coinbase is a very popular one and it's easy to set up. OK, so what happens is once you've got your crypto wallet, you're going to deposit some money. I recommend that the first uh, uh, deposit is not an ACH deposit, but as a deposit that you use directly from your debit card so that you can deposit in there to your Coinbase account and they won't hold it nearly as long. OK, ACH deposit, they're going to hold it a lot longer. All right. And then once you've got yourself funded, then you can pick any kind of broker that will allow you to link to a MetaTrader 4. So let's go ahead and share what we're talking about here. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. All right, and I'm gonna move over here. So what I have over here is actually a broker. And if I pull it back, you see it says MetaTrader 4. So MetaTrader 4 is an app that you can get on your phone that a lot of people use to trade uh, not only cryptocurrencies, but also currencies. You can now link your, your brokerage to your MetaTrader 4, uh, whether your Android or iPhone is slightly different on the process, but the idea behind it is that you're going to go into your settings and then you're going to be able to go in and you're going to be able to move to an account. You're going to be able to log into an existing account and you're going to set up your account. And when you do that, you will actually have a balance available in your account that you can begin to trade with. Okay. And then you're going to go over and you're going to be able to find some different uh, uh, cryptocurrencies that you'd be able to trade. Now for this particular broker, when you click on the plus button, it makes it easier because you come down here and you just click cryptos and you can literally add all of these different cryptocurrencies that you might want to trade. Uh, but for now, I focused on the big two sort of BTC and Ethereum, okay? And all you got to do then is you come over here and you can click on it. You can show a chart and you can begin to see how the currency is moving. You can look around. You can make a determination whether you like the way the charts look. That's where your education comes in. But let's just say, for instance, I had decided that I thought a sell was coming, 
uh, a little further back there, I could have placed the cell and that entire movement down from over 37,000 all the way down to 35,000, I could have been in profit on a sell. So what I would do over here is let's just say now if I believe a buy is coming, I'll come over here, I press trade, I'd hit market execution, I press a buy, and all of a sudden I'm going to be in the trade. Now, if price goes up, then I'll win. And if price comes down, I'll lose once I set a stop loss for my particular trade. A stop loss simply just says, I refuse to lose any more money, therefore knock me out of the trade so that I don't have to lose. I can also set what's called a take profit, which will knock me out of the trade at a certain amount of profit because that's how far I believe the trade will go. So once you see that, you're gonna be in the negative to cover what's called a spread for your broker. But basically, once you do that, you can set the parameters. You can hit here, you click on it, and you can click modify. Boom, and now you modify the trade, put your stop loss, your take profit, you set it, you forget it, and you go on about your day, okay? So that's basically what trading or how you would be able to trade with a broker. It's absolutely amazing. Now, what makes it so dope is that you can actually go into profit. It doesn't take a lot of money for your trades when they move into profit to make you some good returns. And so the idea behind trading versus holding is that trading allows you to make cash now. Where holding, for you to get big returns, you may have to hold your crypto for a long period of time before another big, big run or another big run for you to be able to buy some cryptocurrency or for your cryptocurrency, excuse me, for it to be able to appreciate and value. So what you're doing here by trading is you're taking advantage of the idea that you can buy or you can trade cryptocurrency, you can now take your profits and now you can divert it over to purchasing cryptocurrency. So trading is a great way for people who want to learn how, or who want to buy more crypto, don't have a lot of extra income. This is a way in which you can do it. Now, when we go over to the side that's not trading, right? When we go to the side of actually uh, buying crypto, trade versus buy, right? Is that you actually want to be able to buy different cryptos and build out a crypto portfolio, okay? So folks, there's a lot of other cryptocurrencies outside of just Bitcoin. I know Bitcoin is the, the granddaddy. That's the one that's on the news. That's the one that gets the most attention, but there's a lot of other currencies outside of Bitcoin. And so what happens is you can now buy some of these currencies and some of these currencies are even being traded for pennies on the dollar. So how many of you guys have said to yourself, man, I wish I would have bought Bitcoin when it was 10 cents, or I wish I would have got Bitcoin when it was a dollar, or I wish I would have got Bitcoin when it was a hundred or whatever it is. Well, some of these currencies give you the same opportunity that you would have had 10 years ago, except it's even more exciting now. And what I mean by that is already the crypto space is proven. Already now we're starting to see bigger companies come in and put money behind cryptocurrency. We're seeing banks and, and stuff. So it's legitimized it. See, back then a lot of people felt it was speculative. It's not speculative anymore. So now is the time to get your money into some of these new projects and buy it and build out a portfolio. Okay, so that's the difference, folks. Buying is you're going to build a portfolio. You're going to buy some altcoins. You're going to buy some Bitcoin. You're going to buy some Ethereum. Altcoins just simply means that they're alternative coins besides Bitcoin. So the other, other projects that are out there, you're going to be able to buy and invest in those. Okay, you're going to hold those currencies and allow them, hold those crypto coins and allow them to be able to rise up in value and build out your portfolio, right? And so, and then you're going to be able to trade against the movements of some of your more volatile pairs and be able to profit when they go up and when they go down. And now you can take those profits and you can diversify them into buying more altcoins to increase your wealth. Folks, it's a beautiful symbiotic relationship. So when we say buy versus trade, really, we want to do both. We want to do both. Okay, so that's what we're talking about. 10 minute tips. I don't want to go too much further. The, the place that I get all of my information from is the academy that I'm associated with. This is where I learn and where I've learned the skill of trading. This is where I'm learning about crypto. And I'm excited to be able to share some more lessons with you guys as we move forward in this space and talk about things that can break down concepts, demystify them, make them simple so that you understand that this is something that you can do that you can participate in and that you can use as a vehicle to create wealth for your family. The great thing about the crypto space is you don't need anybody else. 
You can do this on your own. You don't need banks. You don't need these things. Matter of fact, if you educate yourself right now, you're positioning yourself to become the bank for your family and be able to, to put yourself like no other time in history in a position to create wealth. Because right now with all these other projects, all these other things that are going on in the crypto space, they're still in their infancy and they all still need people to buy their coins, invest it in it. And what happens is as you begin to buy some of these other coins, all of a sudden institutional money is going to come in after you. So you get to have your money in first, the banks, the institutions come in after, and then boom, all of a sudden your wealth is increased. So folks, I'm excited. This is uh, episode one, season two of 10 Minute Tips, the crypto edition. I hope you got some value. If you did, please leave a comment for me, like it or share it to anybody that you know who's interested in crypto and needs to get a better understanding of what's going on with this crypto revolution. Ain't it great folks? I appreciate your time. I hope you all have a great evening. Ain't it great?